It is such a pleasure to announce the third edition of A Course in Behavioral Economics. This is one of the first textbooks in behavioral economics specifically aimed at undergraduates when it first came out in 2012. Now it's in its third edition and it's been thoroughly reworked to include a bunch of references to the most recent developments in the field, not the least to the whole world of behavioral policy, the nudge agenda, behavioral insight teams, and so on. My name is Eric Agner, and I wrote the book. Behavioral economics is the effort to incorporate psychology into economics, or more specifically, to provide economics with more psychologically plausible foundations. The ideas has been around for a good long time. The term is as old as the 1950s, but it took a while for the basic ideas to emerge within disciplinary economics departments. Now it's taught all over the world, top departments everywhere, the ideas appear in all your journals, and so on. Who should learn behavioral economics? Well, these ideas are really for everyone. If you're in economics or planning to go into economics, these ideas are now sufficiently mainstream that everyone needs to know what they're about. Loss aversion, the endowment effect, hyperbolic discounting, these are things you just need to know. If you're in an adjacent field, it's a good idea to know about these things as well, because ideas from behavioral economics have seeped into areas like sociology, philosophy, political science, and elsewhere. Moreover, these ideas are now part of the vernacular, and they appear in the policy world. As behavioral insight teams get established all over the world, even if you're just a regular member of the population going about your business, you might one day find yourself on the receiving end of some of these interventions, and it might be a good idea to know what they're about, whether or not you approve of them. If you're a student, this book was written for you. It's designed to get you up to speed quickly, no matter where you're coming from. It doesn't assume any particular knowledge of mathematics. It doesn't assume any particular knowledge of economics. It's written to give you a good basic understanding of the essentials of behavioral economics and a curiosity to learn more. Students may be particularly interested in the examples and exercises, which will give you an idea of how to apply the sort of material in your own life, whether you're on the job market or on the marriage market. As Superman said, with great power comes great responsibility, so please keep that in mind as you go about your business. If you're an instructor, this book was written for you too. If you're an experienced behavioral economist, you know the stuff inside out, you'll find that the textbook will provide your students with the basic knowledge that they need so that you could riff on the topic that interests you the most. If you're new to this, you were assigned to teach this course, or you chose to teach it for the first time, you'll find that the textbook provides you and your students with a steady progression through the basic concepts that will allow you both to get up to speed together. For instructors, there's a series of ancillary resources available online. Once you get access, you can download PowerPoint slides for the entire book. You can download sample exams that you can modify as you see fit. You can find a bunch of different syllabi designed for a number of different needs that you might have. And you'll find some additional resources that you can use in the classroom running experiments with your students to illustrate central concepts of the book. The book has been thoroughly battle tested through many generations of undergraduate students. Even the jokes were workshopped to see which worked and which didn't. If you think the jokes that survived the process are unfunny, you should have seen the ones that did not. And please stay in touch. I just love hearing from students and instructors who've read the book. I want to hear about what worked and what didn't, and I want to hear about how you use these ideas in the real world after you were done reading it. Get in touch with me via email or Twitter or whatever works for you.